The aim of any team using obsessional play is to fork at least one of three types of superiority. Numerical, qualitative, or positional. What is the positional play in football? Hello again in football index. As we referred, there are three types of superiority. Numerical superiority and qualitative and positional. Numerical superiority is an overload in any area of the pitch. Qualitative superiority is when player who is superior to the direct opponent eludes them in one one situation. Positional superiority involves getting players into position between or behind the position lines, where they are more likely to have time and space on the ball and are just more likely to affect the game. And player in a team using position play must always strive to achieve one of the three types of superiority. Position play works to enable teams to progress the ball forward through the creation of triangles or diamonds that give the ball carry space and several passing options at given time. Then by drawing an opponent towards the ball, player will free up a teammate elsewhere to receive the next pass. Players must use the whole width of the pitch when their team is in position to create as much space as possible in the center of the pitch. They must also be aware of where they should be and where their teammates are, so they can adjust their position constantly of the ball. Players must take up positions that provoke opposition and two movements that open up passing lanes for support carry. What are the out of position responsibilities of a team that uses positional play? Positional play is an in position footballing philosophy, so there are no specific out of position strategies employed by the team using this style of play. However, counter pressing is often patterned with positional play. Here Teams look to regain position high up the beach and to counter attacks as early as possible. This is to avoid defensive vulnerability with teams stretched as result of their position shape. Thank you for watching.